Lord. Good morning. How are you doing today? The theme of restoration uh, is on fire, and we thank God because of how He's speaking to us. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you've given us an opportunity even to be alive today. We are not taking it for granted. One thing that we know of you, O oh God, that you are kind and you are loving, and we know that we, God, uh, you are the one who directs our path, you order our steps, and we want to submit to your power and authority, even as we seek you, O oh God, to just speak to us. We worship you and we honor you. For this we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much again. I want to welcome you so much today. And uh, today, even as we know that uh, restoration is uh, like revival, that uh, God revives us, revive us more. And uh, through the resurrection of Christ, we are given new everlasting life. We are given life in Jesus Christ. We are given life that is a renewed life. In uh, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, it says, uh, uh, it says that uh, those who are in Christ Jesus are the new creation. And behold, the old has gone, everything has become new. And uh, that is one thing that uh, I want you to have a few seconds to meditate upon. That if Christ came and you have accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of your life, it is good to know that you are no longer an old creation. The old has gone and behold, everything has become new. Basically, this is to mean that a Christian is not a sinner who has repented. A Christian is a new creation. That's why we trust upon the Lord to restore us back. That's why we trust upon the Lord because we believe that He is faithful and is just. And when we call upon Him, He forgives us our sin. And when he forgives us our sin. He revives us back. He revives His Spirit back again in us. And we continue serving Him with boldness. We continue worshipping, even as He calls us this year. In our theme uh, uh, of putting the altar fire to continuously burning, even as we studied the, uh, uh, the, the early, early months, the month of January, as we studied the book of Leviticus, that uh, God is calling us to worship uh, Him the way He wants. And this is the year that God is calling us to worship Him in truth and in spirit. This is a time that God is calling us to know that for us to be effective in the ministry, for us to be very relevant in this ministry that He has given us, for us to be very relevant in our salvation, He is calling us that He may revive us back. And one of the ways uh, of him reviving us back is for us to agree that we need to be restored. We is for us to agree that we need uh, 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 the, uh, the worship in the church to be restored back, that we may soldier on and know that God uh, is truly good and is watching us. The Bible in Galatians chapter 6, verse 1, this is what the Bible says that, uh, brothers, if someone is caught in a sin, you are. You, are, uh, you who are spiritual should restore him gently. You should restore him gently, but watch yourself or you also may be tempted. You know, is one verse, uh, opening verse of the book of Galatians chapter 6. And uh, it's very powerful because at some point in time, we feel that we have stand. And at some point in time again, we feel that we can correct others. Yes, it is not bad. It is good to correct somebody or to restore somebody as this scripture has mentioned it. He said that if someone is caught in sin, you who are spiritual should restore him gently. Two things there that are very critical. Number one is that someone is caught in sin. One thing there is sin and someone is caught in that sin. So, uh, you are a, 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 a sin has been found somewhere. That means that that is not the end of that person 
or sin is not the end of us because we are weak elements. We have fallen short of the uh, uh, glory of the of the glory of God. To in one one way or the other, we fall to the temptation of the enemy. That if if and the words the Bible talks of if meaning that we should not uh, go out there and sin, knowing that uh, God is merciful, is calling us and He is going to restore us back. No, we are called to live a holy life. And as, again, as I keep on referring to the book of Leviticus, where we derive our association theme, the major theme of the book, book of Leviticus is holiness. And God is saying that, be holy for I am holy. And since God is calling us to be holy, we are not supposed to have or to sin in any way, in either way, or nothing. No manner of sinful nature should be found in us. No manner of any sinful things should be found in us. But the scripture here, as Paul is speaking to the Galatians, says that, but if someone is caught, is caught in a sin, I say there are two things there. One is sin, and another thing is restoration. And is not any, other, any person who can, re, uh, can do the restoration, you who are spiritual should restore him gently. Another thing, another thing I've cropped up there, that uh, you who are spiritual. And, and that is where, that is where, uh, uh, that is where the, uh, that's where we need to differentiate him. Those who are, you who are spiritual. And that is why, what you should ask yourself today. Are you spiritual? Are you eligible to restore somebody? And not only, you know, that is where we find a problem. That, okay, somebody is caught to sin, and then you want to restore this person. But one thing, you are not spiritual. You are told that uh, you cannot go and remove uh, something in the eyes of your, of your friend if you have a log in your eyes. Meaning that you need to check yourself first before you start correcting somebody else. So, you who are spiritual, you know, one of the greatest things that we need to call God to restore us. Friends, this week, even as we continue to ask the Holy Spirit to, to reveal to us what He wants us to do in this week of restoration, it's good we tell God to restore back our spirituality, to restore back our connection with me or our connectivity with Him. Can you find yourself praying until you feel that uh, the Lord has come and now is at your level and now you can have a fellowship, now you can have a fellowship with Him and now you can feel His presence is evident in you and now you can feel that there is a direction that is guiding you to take and you feel that you, cannot, you don't even have words to speak. To some point you find that you are praying and you don't have words. Tears just come out of your eyes. The tears now, the past, the tears now speaks for itself. You don't have even good words to express. The glory of God has fallen and you can feel his presence in your midst. That's the time you tell them, say, God, thank you for your spirituality. This week, today, God is calling us that he may restore back our spirituality. And once he does that, even we can have that God. Of, re, uh, uh, of, re, of restoring a person. Restoring, he's saying that uh, uh, if you are a spiritual, you should restore him gently. And that is where the issue comes, that if we are not spiritual and we are doing or you want to restore somebody, we don't do it gently. We do it a hard way. We see it's as if we are perfect. You know, even if you are spiritual, it does not mean that you are perfect. But the scripture here is saying that if someone is caught in sin, we, 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 we who are very spiritual, we who have called God to restore us spiritually, we restore him gently. But again, in as much as we can restore that other person, it's good to know, it's good, it's good to get it in our mind. But watch yourself that you also may be tempted. Because the, uh, the devil is not a, a small boy. The devil can put any kind of man down. Any person can be put down by the devil. So be watchful. Watchful. Be watchful yourself that you may not be tempted. Because the enemy, the same way that he tempted your, your friend, the same way that he tempted your neighbor, the same way that he tempted that your closest family member can also tempt you. 
can also bring you down, can also uh, come with this trick to make you not enjoy the favors of God. So let us continue to seek upon God to restore back our spiritual gifts and services so that we may be effective in serving God. He restore back the gifts that we are having, the gifts that we, we enjoyed previous, but now we are trying. Like maybe you can try to take a microphone and preach, but even the voice it disappeared a long time ago. Where did it when? It's our time to tell God that, Father, may you restore back that which belongs to us. Restore back our spiritual gifts. Restore back, restore back the true worship. Restore back the true worship because we need to worship you. You are our Father and you are our God. And you created us in this world not to do any other assignment, but to worship him. And to worship him, uh, a worship that is pleasing to him. So may God bless you and may God keep you. May God make you to be effective in the ministry. May God may make you to be effective in every faculty of your spiritual areas that God may use you mightily in his service. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.